Yeah, we got a major problem there. Hey, Ty, you got a copy, Ty? Yeah, go for Ty. Hey, man, I need you down here at Big Red right away. We got some big issues with our grizzly bars. On the runway cut. We're going to put in night shift so we lose 24 hours a day. I mean 24 hours a day means 24 hours more troubles. But you know what if you don't we ain't never going to reach the 5000. Oh have you ever wondered what it takes to chase gold in the wild unpredictable terrains of the Klondike. It's a mix of the thrill of unearthing treasures hidden beneath layers of frozen ground battling against nature's fury. And the unstoppable pursuit of a dream that glitters just as brightly as the gold itself this. Is the. World of Tony beats a name synonymous with the ultimate gold mining adventure in Yukon, Canada faced with a season that tested every ounce of his crew's resilience Tony set a bold goal to extract 5,000 ounces of gold but the Klondike is a formidable opponent where success is measured in gold and in the ability to overcome the unexpected what terrifying discovery pushed Tony and his team to their limits. And how did they confront the challenges that nature and fate threw in their path so join us. As we unravel the story of this incredible gold rush legend I mean there you are you were on the same route as you were where you left and then we heard about Yukon we heard about the Yukon like two months after we came to Canada and we heard you could make good money there so Tony went in March of 1981 it wasn't a single event but a non-stop onslaught of challenges from the unpredictable Klondike weather to equipment breakdowns and the unexpected encounter. With an extensive layer of permafrost the dream of a significant gold haul now swayed on the edge of reality. Overshadowed by the daunting task at hand the Klondike region located in the heart of Yukon Canada is a land steeped in gold rush history and infamous for its unforgiving environment this vast wild territory has been the backdrop for countless tales of adventure despair and fortune seeking since the late 19th century today it continues to to challenge modern day gold miners with its harsh and unpredictable conditions, serving as a formidable arena for those daring enough to test their mettle. Against nature in the quest for gold the Klondike's environment is as breathtaking as it is brutal summers are brief and frenzied with miners working around the clock under the midnight sun to make the most of the short season the ground frozen solid for most of the year thaws superficially creating a muddy soggy surface that complicates mining operations should be on start no they're frozen nothing fires up easy really cold right now so when we start up at us. 30 everything takes a little bit longer than it's supposed to winter arrives. Early laying a thick blanket of snow and ice over the landscape freezing rivers and making access to remote mining sites a logistical nightmare the region's weather is notoriously inconsistent capable of changing from clear skies to violent storms in the blink of an eye further testing the resilience and preparedness of the mining crews amidst this challenging backdrop the mining season was one of heightened anticipation and pressure Tony beats a veteran miner with a reputation as formidable as the Klondike itself had set an ambitious target for his team to extract 5,000 ounces of gold by season's end. This goal was not just a number but a testament to Tony's confidence in his crew abilities equipment and decades of mining experience however it also underscored the high stakes involved achieving such a target would require not just hard work and determination but also a significant amount of luck and favorable conditions both of which are in short supply. In the Klondike the specific mining season unfolded under a heavy cloud of uncertainty the global gold market was booming with prices soaring making the 5,000 ounce target a personal milestone for Tony and a potentially lucrative haul that could secure his operation's financial future however the Klondike indifferent to the ambitions and aspirations of humans presented a number of obstacles right from the start look at all the water coming out of the cat while wow, talk about it there they had a wall in between the pond and the pay dirt. So what happened is we went a little bit too far in the wall now as all running into our cut the early thaw and subsequent flooding threatened to delay the season's onset while the unpredictable weather patterns constantly challenged the crew's daily operations Tony's chosen site for the season's operations was the 80 pup cut which had shown promising signs of gold but was also known for its uneven terrain and water management issues the area was a double-edged sword offering the potential for a significant payoff but also requiring careful strategic IC planning and a considerable investment in time and resources to tap into its 
Rich's the crew had to navigate a complex web of environmental regulations ensuring their mining activities did not disrupt the delicate ecosystem of the Klondike adding another layer of complexity to their endeavor as the season progressed the harsh realities of mining in the Klondike became ever more evident equipment failures were frequently aggravated by the remote location. And the difficulty transporting heavy machinery in parts the physical and mental toll on Tony and his crew was immense. With extended hours. And the constant battle against the elements pushing everyone to their limits yet the spirit of the Klondike with its promise of gold hidden beneath the rugged landscape drove them forward the journey into the heart of the Klondike gold rush often begins with a blend of hope and ambition and for Tony beats a seasoned miner whose name has become synonymous with gold mining in the Yukon this was no different the 80 pup cut a sight. With a name as unique as its potential was the focus of Tony's operations for the season this area was. Whispered about in mining circles for its untapped veins and rumored riches which represented an opportunity for a significant gold haul and a challenge that Tony and his crew were eager to tackle the initial optimism was palpable with geological surveys and preliminary tests suggesting the presence of substantial gold deposits the mood was one of excitement and anticipation see that is white channel gravel. So a look at that the test the pale of this and I'll bet you you're going to get gold. Out of it the potential for the 80 pup cut to. Be the jackpot Tony had been seeking was a beacon that guided the team's efforts and spirits however the Klondike with its storied history of making and breaking fortunes is a land where dreams and nightmares walk hand in hand the terrifying discovery that threatened Tony's operation was not a singular event but a series of escalating challenges that tested the limits of human endurance. And mechanical capability the first sign of trouble emerged in the form of adverse weather conditions the Klondike known for its Unpredictable weather patterns unleashed a torrent of rain that turned the mining site into a nightmare the heavy machinery crucial for excavating and processing the gold-rich soil became mead and mud severely hindering their efficiency the relentless rain slowed operations and raised the prospect of flooding a danger that could wash away weeks of hard work in an instant as if battling the elements needed to be more daunting equipment failures. Added to the woe of Tony and his crew the harsh conditions of the Klondike are Unforgiving on machinery and breakdowns are not uncommon however the frequency and severity of these failures during the operation at the 80 pup cut were beyond anything Tony had previously encountered each breakdown was a blow to the morale of the team and a dent in the operations timeline and budget the downtime required for repairs was time not spent mining. Pushing the ambitious 5,000 ounce target further out of reach the challenges compounded when an unexpected geological challenge presented itself you have a waterfall over there. Of water we got to make a plan because we can't keep having these trucks stuck all the time we got all that snow and coming out the hillsides where you don't want have the same mess as last year as the crew dug deeper into the 80 pup cut they encountered a layer of permafrost thicker and more extensive than anticipated permafrost a perennially frozen ground layer is a formidable barrier to miners it requires specialized equipment and techniques to penetrate increasing the complexity and cost of mining operations this Geological hurdle was a stark reminder of the unpredictable nature of mining in the Klondike where the earth itself can conceal surprises that challenge the resolve and resources of even the most experienced miners the terrifying discovery was not a single dramatic event but a combination of adverse weather equipment failures and geological challenges that significantly threatened Tony's operation each obstacle was a formidable opponent but together they created a situation that tested the Limits of human ingenuity determination and spirit. The reality of the situation now overshadowed the dream of a significant gold haul from the 80 pup cut recognizing the daunting task ahead tempered the optimism that had marked the start of the season in the unforgiving wilderness of the Klondike the battle against nature is not just a challenge it's a war where the elements hold dominion over human ambition and technology for Tony Beats. And his crew seasoned veterans of gold mining this battle is a familiar yet unpredictable adversary the quest for gold in the 80 pup cut a sight. Brimming with potential quickly became a testament to their resilience as they faced the relentless fury of the Klondike's natural forces the season's operations commenced under the shadow of optimism but nature had its script turning the mining site into a struggle against rain mud and the looming threat of broken D the Klondike weather ever fickle unleashed a deluge of rain transforming the landscape into a predicament that threatened to swallow machines and men alike don't do your copy yeah. Yeah I'm stuck here in 220 this is. 
Not good we're going to need some equipment here really quick if you hang in that I'll bring them to you in a minute holy you got a stuck did a mess that's no surprise it's like one the consistent rainfall was not just a physical barrier but a psychological siege testing the crew's metal with each passing day the mud a seemingly harmless element became a formidable foe it clung to everything halting the movement of heavy machinery and making every task more difficult the very earth that promised riches became a Trap that end snared equipment and sapped the crew's strength the battle against the mud was a constant draining effort that embodies the struggle against nature in the Klondike one incident that underscored the severity of these challenges was the jamming of an excavator in a settling pond this machine crucial for excavating and processing gold bearing soil became immobilized its mechanisms clogged with mud and debris the effort to extricate it was herculean involving multiple pieces of heavy machinery and a joint Effort by the crew this incident was not just a setback regarding time and resources but a stark reminder of the Klondike's ability to humble even the most experienced miners the threat of broken deeks added another layer of danger to the operation the deeks constructed to manage water flow and prevent flooding were under constant assault from the rising waters strained to their limits by the endless rain bee. Nibby yeah yeah take that 220 to the deeks right by the pump area there because all there's water coming down. These days sure we're going to have to do something down there yeah weather has been raining a lot so water is going to keep coming in I do got to hurry up so this D doesn't break the potential breach of these deeks loomed over the crew a disaster that could unleash a torrent of water capable of washing away weeks of labor in moments maintaining and reinforcing these deeks became a critical task diverting resources and attention from gold extraction but essential for the operation survival amid these challenges specific incidents Highlighted the crew's ingenuity and determination when a crucial pump needed for water management broke down the crew was forced to improvise a solution scavenging parts from other equipment and working tirelessly to restore functionality this incident though minor in the grand scheme of the operation was symbolic of the constant battle against the elements where every victory was hard won through creativity and perseverance. The battle against nature in the Klondike is a multifaceted struggle. Encompassing not just the physical efforts to overcome rain mud and mechanical failures but also the psychological resilience required to face these challenges day after day for Tony Beats and his crew each day brought new obstacles and opportunities to demonstrate their skill resolve and unyielding spirit as the season progressed the battle against nature intensified with each story storm each mechanical failure. And each moment of crisis testing the limits of human endurance yet through each trial Tony and his crew forged ahead driven by the Promise of gold and the unbreakable bond of camaraderie that sustained them through the darkest moments leadership and decision making in the unforgiving and unpredictable world of gold mining in the Klondike leadership is not just about making decisions it's about making the right decisions under pressure guiding a team through crises and emerging on the other side with resolve and determination Tony. Beats a titan in the gold mining industry embodies a leadership style forged through years of experience characterized by his Unyielding determination and a deep understanding of the land he mints and the people he leads Tony's approach to leadership is practical and direct rooted in a non-nonsense attitude toward problem solving and decision making you have to get that out of there because well that is nicely sitting there stuck we're not sissing so Tony's not making any money this was particularly evident during the mining season at the 80 pup cut which tested every facet of his leadership abilities with a series of crises from adverse weather conditions to equipment failures and the threat of flooding Tony's decisions were crucial in navigating the challenges that threatened to derail the operation one of the first emergency measures Tony implemented in response to the crisis was the mobilization of his crew to reinforce the Deeks understanding the catastrophic potential of a breach he prioritized the security of the mining site directing resources and manpower to shore up the defenses against the rising waters while diverting effort from gold extraction this decision underscored Tony's recognition of the importance of safeguarding the operation's foundation against the immediate threat of flooding Tony's leadership was also evident in handling the jammed excavator in the settling pond a critical situation that halted the operation recognizing the problem's urgency Tony coordinated a complex recovery operation leveraging his extensive machinery and mining logistics knowledge. What I'm thinking of doing is going to build this water out yeah then what you should do is take 
That other hole start bailing C.O.R. tailing okay yeah I do think we're going to bring in the 6 to put some gravel in the hole and then we'll just build a ramp in there and then at the 11 we had 100T cable on it and then we should be able to pull it out he directed his crew to deploy additional equipment including heavy duty pumps to remove water and mud and utilized innovative techniques. To free the excavator this hands-on approach to crisis management showcased Tony's ability to lead from the front making. Decisive actions to lessen the impact of equipment failures on the operation's productivity throughout these crises Tony's decision-making was guided by a blend of intuition honed through years of experience and a strategic understanding of the operation's broader objectives he demonstrated a keen ability to assess risks prioritize tasks and allocate resources efficiently to minimize downtime and maximize. Gold recovery his leadership style characterized by direct communication and a demand for high performance instilled a sense of urgency and focus among his crew fostering a team environment where everyone was aligned towards a common goal moreover Tony's leadership extended beyond crisis management to include mentorship and development of his crew he understood the value of building a resilient team capable of responding to the Klondike's challenges Tony cultivated a culture of accountability and continuous improvement by delegating responsibilities and empowering his crew members to make decisions this approach not only enhanced the operation's ability to navigate crisis but also contributed to his team's personal and professional growth Tony's determination and experience were critical in steering the operation through the turbulent season at the 80 pup cut his decisions often made under immense pressure reflected a deep understanding of the stakes involved whether it was reinforcing deeks to prevent flooding salvaging critical equipment or adapting mining strategies in response to unexpected challenges Tony's leadership was a beacon that guided his crew through uncertainty final rains there especially the way it been raining with some of these cuts the material gets so greasy that we're pretty much out of luck hey Jevin that hole got this full of water that's just a mess oh it's a yeah mess we're running out of time in the season as is and don't have time to wait for pee to dry as the dust settled on the tumultuous mining season in the Klondike the moment of truth arrived for Tony Beats and his crew the quest. 4. Gold full of adversity and challenges ended in the final tallying of the season's haul the air was thick with anticipation as the last of the gold was weighed the scales tipping in the balance of fate and fortune the goal a towering 5,000 ounces of gold was not just a number but a symbol of ambition determination and the relentless pursuit of success against the odds the outcome of Tony's efforts was a moment of revelation a testament to the resilience and hard work of the entire crew as the final numbers came in it became clear that the season was a triumph the goal was not achieved but 4601 O of gold is a significant milestone that marked a high point in Tony's storied career in the Klondike the achievement was met with relief joy and a profound sense of accomplishment the crew who had toiled through the season FA down every challenge and pushed through every setback could finally celebrate their hard-earned victory the season's success was measured not just in ounces of gold but in the lessons learned and the experience is Gained the journey through the season was a masterclass in resilience leadership and innovation for now let's concentrate so we can drive over with the rock trucks I need a couple low spots in the deke we're going to fill up I think we'll put a couple of rock truck lows in m otherwise it's going to run on the die and into a creek and that be a mess Tony and his crew had faced the full fury of the Klondike's unpredictable nature. From adverse weather conditions to equipment failures and the constant threat of flooding yet. They adapted learned and grew stronger through each trial one of the key lessons from the season was the importance of preparedness and adaptability with its harsh conditions and unpredictable challenges the Klondike taught the crew that success requires more than hard work and determination it demands a willingness to adapt innovate and approach each problem with a solution-oriented mindset the equipment failures and weather-related setbacks were obstacles and opportunities to learn and improve to refine their strategies and techniques. For future operations another significant lesson was the value of teamwork and leadership Tony's leadership style characterized by his direct approach and unwavering determination was a guiding light through the season's darkest moments his ability to motivate lead by example and make decisive informed decisions. Under pressure was instrumental in the crew's success the season underscored the importance of a cohesive motivated team where each member is vital to the operation's overall success. The Implications for Future 
mining operations are profound the triumph of the season while a moment of celebration also sets a new benchmark for what is possible in the Klondike it raises the bar for future endeavors challenging Tony and his crew to push the boundaries of gold mining even further the lessons learned from the importance of adaptability and innovation to the value of decisive leadership and teamwork will inform their approach to future seasons. Shaping their strategies and operations in the years to come low. Bin had to K on the doses and the excavators I don't have to be here with all these years working together you kind of think together too you know moreover the season success is a reminder of the potential within the Klondike a land rich in both challenge and opportunity it reaffirms the belief that with the right combination of skilled determination and teamwork even the loftiest goals are within reach for Tony Beats and his crew the quest for gold is an ongoing journey. That is as much about the pursuit of excellence as it is about the quest for gold in reflection now. Season was more than just a mining operation it was a journey of growth learning and triumph the resolution marked by the achievement of the 5,000 ounce goal is not an end but a beginning a stepping stone to future endeavors in the Klondike the lessons learned the bonds formed and the challenges overcome are the true treasures of the season these invaluable assets will guide Tony and his crew as they continue their quest for gold. In the unforgiving wilderness of the Klondike water coming down.